Good morning, Amy here from Carson's Landing. Thank you so much for joining me on this fabulous day. Hope you're having an inspiring and wonderful day so far. I'm just gonna do a quick Christmas Eve or Christmas-ish home tour. I don't have a whole lot of Christmas stuff out this year. I'm trying to keep it pretty simple, but I wanted to just bring you around and show you some of the things that I did put out as well as just some of the rooms in our house, kind of as a regular home tour. To the left of our staircase, we have our dining room. And I went super simple in here as far as Christmas goes. I really didn't put a lot of Christmas stuff out, but I do have this vintage sheet music tin sign over here hanging on the hutch. And I recently just distressed this hutch. Just added a stocking here to our gallery wall with a black and cream Christmas tree with little vintage buttons on Christmas it. Christmas ornament um, that I just have added to my gallery wall. Nest. did simplify the kitchen a little bit. Um, I just love our backsplash. I think it's so pretty and sparkly. We have Waverly over here. I have some cutting boards and this one I actually just bought from Ikea. Um, and the white one I had for a while and I just repainted it white. But we have a little Christmas snowflake as well as a lit snow sign that my mom just bought me. And over here, we just have a give thanks sign, which was actually for Thanksgiving. I absolutely love this gorgeous farmhouse kitchen towel. Joy piece on earth with the burlap in the center with a little French detail. entry which I don't think I've shown you before and it is basically just a picture over there that I distressed and made like very cottagey with a little Christmas tree in a coffee gallery wall going down the steps with our gray painted door and our cream distressed hooks over here that the kids can hang their jackets and book bags on when they come in from school and that leads into our we have our new rug we have our little table from Target for the kids we have our ladder, which I put some stockings on. And then we have our fireplace, which I whitewashed. And we painted the mantle. What and cream with a little bit of the green. I just love how that, how that came out with the light green walls. And our little pillows over here and our built-in benches. Here's a piece that I also painted as well as a cute little sign. And again, like this isn't really decorated for Christmas, but I'm just kind of giving you a little quick tour. Distressed clock. And over here, you have our sign, Life is Beautiful, as well as our chalkboards with the chicken wire in there. And that has some pictures of the kids hanging 
And as you're on your way out, you see our little hope grease. And here is our basement, which actually was very clean this morning, but now looks like a little bit of a mess because the kids have pulled out a couple shelf toys. unit that I got from Walmart. It's like super sturdy and I just love the worn wood finish on it. It makes it look very rustic and cottagey and um, I really wanted to go with a farm hills feel down here so I got the baskets from Walmart as well and they're just like the canvas baskets that have the little chalkboard labels on them. French comforter and her accent pillows as well as her banner that we got from Hobby Lobby and a quilt that a friend made her. We have our and kitty. How are you, Say? Yes. Yeah, there she is. Say loves to lay up on the radiator because it's warm. Friend, which we painted in, just stressed. Over here we have our gallery wall, which I know I've shown this to you before, but I figured since we did a tour of the downstairs, we might as well do the upstairs. There's really nothing Christmassy in this room. Vera with her white flowery vase, her unicorn picture, her little bird cage, her little jewelry boxes, her picture, and a pink and cream lamp. Maybe five below. Um, and it says I'm really a mermaid. So I thought that would be really cute with her mermaid fins here. Little mermaid fin blankets. Those fly over here, which we got from Hobby Lobby. And I just love the color. And I love being able to just kind of grab and go when we're doing our hair. Then we have our C with our burlap bow, which I got from Kirkland Curtains, that I got from, I'm gonna say Target. Maybe it was Target. Hi, baby. And here's my son's room. He's got his train bed with his transportation bedding. Just ignore the jeans and the shoes. And these pillow covers, I actually got a couple of these from Amazon and I love them. Um, they're like vintage car pillow covers. We've got his monogram up here. We've got our vintage car poster or picture up here next to our galvanized wall organizing tins. And then I love this sign. You're my favorite work of art and I haven't hung it yet because I'm not sure where to put it. But we do have a vintage basket over here which I got from I believe it was Home Goods. And our little sock monkey and baby sock monkey. And then I just got this from AC Moore and I've been putting Carson's socks in there. But I just thought the vintage bicycle was really adorable. Um, and I thought it was a great addition a to his room. system for play clothes. So any kind of like pants, short sleeves, long sleeves that he uses to go out to play and that he wouldn't normally wear out or wear to school. I just put in this little drawer Where system. With our Carson sign on it. And I got this from Hobby Lobby. Here's our little chair. I really love this chevron pillow. I love the chevron pattern and the navy blue and white just makes it so crisp and clean and really cute. And then a friend of ours made this for us and it was actually a, it was a baby blanket. Um, and I think it's also like a car seat cover, but I just love the multicolored owls. I think they're super cute. All of God's grace in one tiny face. I just love the gray and yellow and how it plays off of the walls. And a couple books and our little frame here. There's also a couple decals on the walls. And then his little apples and another vintage car pillow cover. Which here. I just wrote in chalk pen. This way to a restful sleep beep beep. And then we have a railroad app sign on, or over the door. And this is a real vintage railroad app sign that I just loved and I got it from Smithville. It's really beautiful. So there you have it. There is Carson's vintage transportation themed big white room. Thank you for joining us on the Christmas tour. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.